a short update on how to do a locking function test on the button of the Grav grinder. In the original video I had installed the button upside down but a fellow YouTuber pointed that out so I had reason to clean this for my next project. And now I installed the bu button as it should be and you can tell by sound because what I didn't hear the first time was when I rotate this cone right or left clockwise you hear this clicking sound plus when I try to turn it back there's a bit of resistance there didn't have that the previous time so one more time listen carefully now you know that the locking button is installed properly also see it when you move this dot or this line back to its maximum coarseness setting this button will actually pop out here we go and now you can push it inwards and rotate the top further for dismantlement now I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you do not properly install this grinding wheel and it does not lock in. It will actually give you a coarseness that is perfectly suitable for the cafetier. This is what I ground with the grinding wheel properly installed at 25, its most coarse position. It's already similar to table salt, so from here it only gets finer. Normally I would install the grinding wheel in this position, these points aligning, and then these two white points here aligning, then twist back, click, that's a lock. Now if you grind, this wheel will not move up or down, so let's disassemble it again. Okay, we're taking it out, now I'm going to turn this wheel back, click, there we are, insert it in any way that fits, it's usually just one position, there we go, it won't turn, but it is loose, as you can see, I'll just reinstall the reservoir, reservoir is in place, see what happens. Do you see that coarseness? That is very coarse. Well, according to uh, the table that I'm going to share, the document, this would be coarse, as in perfectly fit for the uh, French press. So this is a way to get French press grind out of your graph machine off the record of course compared to the hand grinder that I used it's exactly the same result with the hand grinder I have put it at its most coarse setting see with this grinding wheel you can go or with this um, adjustment wheel you can go all the way up for fine which literally lifts the grind cone up in the grinding wheel and for down you do exactly the opposite increasing the distance between the grind cone that moves down and the grind wheel that stays fixed up so if you need some French press coffee this is a way to do it with your graph machine on a final note the actual setting does no longer matter once you um, once you loosely install the grinding wheel it just moves up and down freely. I tried this and the resulting grind was exactly the same. This is in fact a mixture, a mixture of both settings. Finally, a uh, quick unofficial announcement. I'm going to start, or I already have started, on a very big project for my standards. I want to better understand coffee and the gear that I have. I want to understand 
what the different grinds are, what sizes they are in reality, and how to get them out of both my grinders. Plus, I want to understand the effect of roast on all parameters, on both the grind and on the resulting coffee, the flavor that it gives. So I am going to try for all my different methods, being uh, mocha pot, cafetiere, Chemex, uh, espresso, and V60, three different roasts of the same coffee, light, medium, and dark. And I'm going to document everything that I find out while doing so. What changes in the recipe when the roast changes? And the recipes themselves, for that I'm going to use two sources at a time. One will be from a book, Un Bon Café C'est Pas Sorcier, which is my base guideline for coffee in general. And the other recipe will be from a YouTube guru, be it um, James Hoffman or Chris Baca or whatever source that I can find that seems reliable. I'm just going to share that and post that in the same document. And this document will be available for downloading. I'm going to post a link in every video that I post on the future developments. I'm going to post a video after every significant change. Say my next video will be on the cafe chair. What I'm going to do is buy a light coffee, which I actually already have. This is the light roasted coffee. Then try the literature recipe for the cafe chair. Then I'm going to try the James Hoffman recipe. For that, I'm going to actually buy a water filter to get soft water. It's on the way as we speak. And then I'm going to see what I like most and probably come up with my own recipe for this setup that works most well for me. That's going to be the next video. And then I'm going to probably do the espresso machine, the DeLonghi, on the light roast with two different recipes again. And so on and so on and so on, until I've had all methods with the light roast. Then I'm going to buy the medium roast and start all over again. So, looking forward to sharing this information with you. I posted the document as it is in a downloadable link in the description already, so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And yeah, let's just make some coffee and learn.